Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we're gonna be going through part four of the coding interview prep series. Now, if you haven't already looked at parts one through three, definitely check out the link above right here and you can learn all about how, you know, a real world coding exam for SREs, for DevOps engineers, cloud engineers actually looks like today. So with that, let's jump into part four where we're gonna be deploying our application from parts one through three to a Kubernetes cluster in Azure. All right, so I'm in Azure DevOps here, and this is what I'm gonna use for my CI CD pipeline. Now I already have a project set up and an organization and all that stuff. If you don't have this set up, just simply Google setting up an organization and project in Azure DevOps and you'll be able to find something. It's a free CI CD platform, so if you're already in Azure, definitely take advantage of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the little rocket ship here and I'm gonna click on pipelines. Now we can see here I already have one pipeline running, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on new pipeline. And then we're gonna take a look at like where our code is stored. So for example, this code here, all the code throughout this entire course, I've been putting in GitHub. So I'm gonna click on GitHub here. And then what I'm gonna do is once this loads up, it does sometimes take a minute because it's loading all of your repositories. I'm gonna click on interview prep. And that's again, where all my code is, where I've been storing everything. Now here's the really cool thing about what we're doing. In Azure DevOps, when you create a new pipeline, they're gonna essentially give you, you know, recommendations for what type of pipeline you wanna be able to deploy. So in our case, we can actually click on the deploy to Azure Kubernetes service. And then I'm gonna click on that. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to load a subscription. So I'm gonna click on my subscription here. I'm gonna hit continue. And then what you're gonna see most likely, you're not gonna see it on my screen because it's a different pop-up, but I do have a pop-up here where I need to sign into Azure. So I'm just typing in my Azure email address and my password. And then as you can see, I'm now authenticated here. So what I can do is I can choose a cluster that I want to use. In this case, I'll choose interview prep AKS. And then underneath the namespace, I can choose what namespace I want to use. So I can either create a new namespace to deploy the application to, or I can do a default. So I'm just going to go ahead and do default and then the container registry. Now, the reason why we need to choose this is because this pipeline is actually going to build a new image for us. It's going to do the build and the testing process and all of that right from the pipeline itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose my interview prep 92 container registry. And then I have an image name here. This is the image that's going to be created when the build process goes through. So I'm literally just going to name it interview prep. That's it. And then the service port, the application itself is going to be listening on port 8080. So I'm going to click validate and configure. So now what this is going to do is it's going to literally build the entire pipeline for us. So when it comes to automation, this is definitely the way you want to do it because you don't have to worry about writing all of the YAML and stuff like that. It's all right here for you. We literally don't have to change anything in here, but we are going to go through what's happening. So first the trigger is going to be main, which means, you know, anytime that code is pushed to the main branch, this pipeline will get kicked off. The resources, the repo is gonna be self. What that means is it's pulling from the GitHub repo that we attached in the previous section. And then we have some variables here. So the variables are gonna be for the Docker registry, service connection, that's to connect to ACR, the image repository itself, what container registry we wanna use, the Docker file path, the tag, and then the image pull secret. Next, we're going to see the VM image that's going to be used. So in this case, we're going to be using the Ubuntu latest container that's running this entire pipeline. And then we have our stages here. So the first stage is essentially going to be to build and push an image to the container registry. Now, the reason that you want to do this is because you want to ensure that the code is constantly being checked that it can build successfully. If you don't know if it can be built or not, you're going to most likely run into a bug. So this is just building it and it's seeing, you know, exactly like we would with a Docker file where you run docker build on your command line it's doing the same thing here it's just testing to make sure that the code can be built then we see that it's going to be uploading the manifest so this is <laughs> this is really cool this is actually going to create the deployment manifest and the service manifest for us next our second stage is to deploy so what the deployment pretty much looks at is it pulls the image secret and it deploys to the kubernetes cluster based on the two manifests that are created in the build process so with that let's go ahead and save and run our pipeline so i'm going to click save and run here i'm just going to do the standard commit message i'm going to commit it to the main branch save and run 
And then what it's going to do now is it's going to start to create our pipeline. And then we're going to see two stages, the build stage and the deploy stage. So let's just go ahead and give this a few moments to actually fully create the pipeline here. And as we can see, the pipeline has been created successfully. I'm going to go to the build stage. We can see that the job is pending. It's pretty much ready to go. I think it's just pending because this is actually still running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this one out. So this one is deploying successfully. All right. So I went ahead and just canceled my other pipeline that was running. And as we can see, this is now running this new pipeline. So again, this is literally like a Docker file. So it's going through all the steps like a Docker file would. It's creating the building directory. It's ensuring that go one, one, one module is on. It's running a go get on the code that's under the interview prep. It's doing a whole bunch of cool stuff here. So it's creating the container, all this stuff, pretty much everything that we did in our Docker file. It's doing all of that. So that build and push is going to complete. It's preparing right now it's waiting the image is currently being pushed and this is of course going to take a few minutes here so definitely don't be alarmed on your end if it's you know taking a little bit we're already over a minute here all right we can see that process finished successfully and now it's publishing to the pipeline all the artifacts so the artifacts are going to be essentially you see right here where it says manifest successful so it processed those two manifests for us so it can be used in our deployment so this is going to finish up shortly here and then at that point the deploy stage will start okay and as we can see this has been finished here so the build stage is all good and now we're just waiting for the deploy stage that's just going to pend and it's going to essentially spin up that ubuntu worker container essentially for us and it's going to start the whole cd process inside of that container we can see here that this has now started so it's downloading the artifact for us right here that's going to be those manifests it's then creating the image pull secret and then now what's happening is it's going to deploy our application to the Kubernetes cluster. 